Hi, I'm Sean Buckley. I'm the founder of Just Food for Dogs. We founded the company for people just like ourselves, people that want to treat their dogs like their family. That sounds like a slogan, sounds like a line for us. It truly is the reason that, that we started the company. The single most important element in a dog's life after he's found the love of his human is his daily diet. That more than anything else will determine his health, his happiness, and even have an effect and an impact on his vet bills. The current dog food business is broken. What's allowed to go into dog food is disgusting and horrible, but more importantly, it's just bad for your dog. If you're feeding commercial food to your dog, then you are most likely feeding your dog 100% byproducts. Byproducts is a little bit confusing sometimes, but really the definition is it's put into, in this case, dog food uh, as a, uh, a leftover, as a left behind to manufacturing or making or producing something else. So, for example, AFCO, which you'll see on the back of most uh, dog food packages, allows, among other things, empty peanut shells, empty almond shells, uh, poultry and other animal fecal matter, uh, not as a, not as a accidental ingredient or element. Um, how do I say this? They actually allow in their regulations for the collection, intentional collection and inclusion of these items into dog food and other feed for other animals. Now, I am not saying that people actually put these things in dog food. I'm saying that they're allowed to. And most of the large manufacturers of dog food uh, are primarily not in the dog food business. They are primarily in the human food business. And one could surmise that in the production of that human food, there are things left over. There are elements left over. I don't want to call them ingredients because I don't see them as ingredients. There are portions or elements left over from the production of whatever it is the main goal might be. It's those leftover byproducts that end up in dog food. When we embarked upon this business, uh, we quickly realized that we were not going to be able to have some third-party manufacturer, if you will, or co-packer, sometimes they're called. People that make different types of food for different people, would be it dog food or human food. We realized very quickly by visiting a number of these factories, uh, for lack of a better way of putting it, that we were going to have to build our own kitchen and make it ourselves. Uh, what they do is fine, but what they do is on such a huge scale that it's impossible to maintain the quality that we were looking for. They also manufacture other types of dog food, and we do not want, cannot have, feed grade or dog food grade ingredients even enter our kitchen. All of the food that goes into our recipes is USDA certified for human consumption. The fruits, vegetables, most importantly, the protein, the meats. So if you see lamb or beef or turkey, on a list for us, know that it's USDA certified for human consumption. I oftentimes will eat the food, try it, taste test it. There's nothing in it that you wouldn't feed your human family. And that was important to us. Our story really involves three components, cooked fresh, packaged frozen, and delivered to your door. The cooked fresh part is simple. We buy only USDA certified for human consumption ingredients that are then delivered to our kitchen and cooked gently into our recipes. After our food has been cooked, we add a nutritional blend of supplements and vitamins. It's custom made for us for each one of our recipes. It's not a one size fits all, but rather a blend specific to each recipe. This is necessary because it's impossible for a dog, just like it's impossible for a human, to get all of the nutrients that you would need in a given day by eating food, which is why most doctors recommend a nutritional supplement or a multivitamin, something of that sort, for most humans, for most people. The second part of our story is packaged frozen. 
We do this for one simple reason. It is the very best way to retain the nutrients in the high grade ingredients that we've already put in the food. If we were to turn it into a kibble, or if we were to put it in a can, quite simply, it would not have the volume of nutrients that it does when it's instantly frozen. Food in a can and bags of food that last several years on the shelf are full of preservatives. And in our view, that's bad for your dog. The third part of our story is delivered to your door, whether that's actually a local delivery or whether we're shipping it on dry ice or if it's somebody in the local area and you wanna pick up at our store in Newport Beach and see our kitchen, all of those are designed for your convenience. The ultimate goal of this three-step process is to get the very best food in the world in your hands to feed your dog.